In this video, we will look at installing async drivers prior to a new vSphere ESXi installation. This video is based off of VMware Knowledge Base Article 2005205. To add async drivers to the new vSphere ESXi installation ISO image, launch the vSphere Power CLI command line tool associated with your version of vSphere. Next, using vSphere Power CLI, use the add-esx software depot commandlet to add both the ESXi offline bundle and the async offline bundle as software depots. If you are including more than one async driver in your image, continue this process for each async driver. To verify that the async driver is available as an ESXi software package, use the git dash ESX software package commandlet to list out all available software packages. The async driver should now be listed. Make note of the package name as this will be used later in the video. Next, you must clone an image profile from an existing image profile. To list the available image profiles, use the git dash ESX image profile commandlet. In the event that you are unable to view the entire image profile name, you may pipe this commandlet to the export-csv commandlet to export the list to a text file. Next, to clone an image profile, use the new-esx image profile commandlet with the clone profile option specifying the original profile and the name of the new image profile. After cloning the profile, Use the add-esx software package commandlet to add the async driver to the new image profile, specifying the package name of the async driver obtained earlier. If there are multiple async drivers, you may repeat this process until all drivers have been added to the image profile. Finally, export the new image profile to an ISO image using the export-esx image profile commandlet. If necessary, burn the ISO image to a CD. Use the CD or ISO image to boot the server and begin the ESXi installation using the normal installation process. Mm -hmm.